Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and today we're going to take a look at creating a billboarding effect in Unity, which is what allows us to have 2D sprites in a 3D world, but makes it so that those sprites will always face the camera and don't look weird when we're walking around. So let's dive in and see how this works. So I've got a simple project set up here, and if you want to download and follow along with the exact same things you can, or you can just apply the same ideas to your own uh, projects, obviously. But what we've got here is a very simple scene with some 3D models around the edge, and we've got all these sprites over here, and then I've got a very simple script that will just take all of these and distribute them around this arena. So if I press play here, we'll see, there we go, they all populate the area. But if I look in my game view, you can see that our sprites are just set to the default way that they would appear in Unity. So we've got all these different sprites lying around in our world. So obviously this doesn't look great because if I look this way, I can't really see half the sprites as we move around. They kind of have this flat appearance which doesn't, which doesn't look great and makes it hard for your players to navigate around the world. Sometimes it looks like there's a lot of stuff. Sometimes it looks like there is absolutely nothing. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could, for example, spend the time of just laying all these objects out beforehand and have them all face in different directions, for example. But then you'd still end up with the problem that some of them would look flat from different directions. So that's not really what we want to do. So as we said at the start, we want to use something called billboarding, which is the idea of making it so that our object appears flat when we look at it in our world. And billboarding is a very handy technique to use which and it's very simple to do, but it's also very powerful because it makes games like these really work nicely. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop this running here and we're going to create a new script. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to create a C sharp script called billboard. And I'm going to add this script to all of the sprites I want to use. So I'm going to go. I have all my sprites here. So I'm going to select them all and add them Add the billboard script to them. And how billboarding is going to work for us is essentially we're going to need to know where the camera is in the world and we're going to rotate our object based on that position. Uh, and one other thing to note is, uh, let me just grab one of these sprites, it doesn't really matter which. If I'm looking at the sprite here, the rotation we want to do is based on the y-axis. So if I rotate around the y-axis here, you'll see it spins around on the ground and that allows our player to look at the object in different directions. If we use the X axis, it will flop back and forwards based on its own rotation and the Z axis will rotate it around side to side. So we don't want to adjust those rotations. We know that the important rotation is to adjust the Y rotation of our object. So with that in mind, we can go into the billboard script. So I'm going to double click and open it up here. And the first thing I'm going to need in our billboard is a reference to the camera because we want to get the position of the camera within the world. And how we could do that would be in the update loop, we could say the, uh, sorry, we could say camera dot main dot transform dot position. But the problem with this is camera dot main is something very inefficient in Unity. It, what it actually does is looks through our scene and tries to find the object that is the camera and make sure it's the only one that exists in our scene at the moment. and if we're doing that for every single object in our scene, that's going to get very, very performance heavy. So we don't want to look for the camera.main on every single frame. Instead, what we do is up the top, we'll create a private camera variable that we'll just call the cam. And then in the start function, we say the cam equals camera.main. So what that means is in the start function, it'll search for the camera and once it finds it, it'll assign us to this variable and we know exactly which one it is at that point. So then what we're going to do is take each of these billboard objects and instead of doing this in the update loop, we're actually going to do it in the late update so that the uh, any objects in our world should have already moved around if they need to. So ideally the camera should have moved and we'll do this update in the late update. And then in here, we're going to say our transform, so the position that this billboard script is attached to, the transform, the position of the object that this billboard script is attached to, which is our individual sprites. We're going to say transform dot look at, and what we're going to tell it to look at is the camera dot transform. So let's just demonstrate what this does first of all. So if I save this and we go back in here, that has compiled, so I can press play. And when we look at these now, you can see if we turn around, 
our sprites are all facing towards us, which is, that's great. But when we use the look at function, if I go like this, for example, you can see now these sprites here are looking, uh, are leaning back as we do this. It might be a little bit hard to see if I go to the scene view here and go over near the player. You can see in the scene view, as I look around like this, we get our sprites leaning around in the world. Now that might be effect, an effect that you want to achieve in your game. And if that's the case, then you'll be perfectly fine with this view style, but that's not really what I want. I only want to rotate on the Y axis. So what we're gonna do is stop this. We're gonna go back in here. And after we look at the camera's position, we're gonna go down and we're gonna change our transform dot rotation. We're gonna set it to be equal to a quaternion, so a qua new quaternion value dot Euler. So we're basically converting a vector tree value into a quaternion. So rotations are handled as a four number quaternion if you don't know how the, those work. But for our purposes, we don't really need to worry about that. All we need to worry about is the X, Y, and Z because that's what we're changing. And we said before that we wanted our X value to be zero because we don't want to change the X axis. The Y value is what we want to change. So the Y value is changed when we do the transform.lookat. So what we're going to say here is use the transform.rotation dot Euler angles dot y that has already been set and then on the z-axis we're going to set that to zero. So now if I save this and go back into the game we'll let it compile and then if I press play we should now see if I go over near these things again no matter how much I move the camera up or down you can see the sprites don't lean back and forward anymore so now I'm able to look up at the top of the trees and all this fun but still we have this cool effect where the sprites are looking at the camera. So this would be a perfectly fine way of billboarding. There is one um, important thing to note with this so we'll demonstrate a different way as well in a second uh, but it's going to be more of a preference thing at this point. So just as an example here let's look at these trees. So when I walk by this tree here my player walks through that's fine but as I walk closer and closer to it, you should notice that the sprite itself is kind of rotating around. So it's rotating to look at the camera. Now you do get this kind of fading away effect, which looks pretty nice on that tree, for example. But if I can find one of these fences here, if I walk close to it like this, as I get closer and closer, you can see it bends out of the way. Now, that might be what you want your game to look like. There's no problem with that. that that's uh, definitely an art style that I've seen in plenty of games. But what I would really like is for these sprites to just stay in their position as we walk by. There's, there's a good example of it. So as I walk past here, you can see, oh, the thing just kind of fades out of the way. So we're going to employ a different method of billboarding as well. And we'll have the option to switch between them. So I'm going to stop this running. Let's go back into our billboard script. I'm going to add up here. And I'm going to say public bool use static, I don't know, doesn't really matter what we call it, use static billboard so that they don't change when they're getting nearby to them. And up here, we're gonna say, if we don't use static billboard, we'll then do the transform.lookat that we did previously. But otherwise, so else, if not, then what we're going to do is, instead of telling our transform to look at the camera, we're just gonna set our transform to be the same transform as the camera itself. So we're just gonna say transform dot rotation equals the cam dot transform dot rotation, like so. And similarly to what we did before, we still want the rotation to remove the X and Z rotations because we always only want to rotate by the Y angle. So let's save this and we'll jump back in here. And once it compiles, I'm going to go to my sprites, select them all down here, and I'm going to turn on use static billboard. And now when I play, as I get close to these objects, they will just stay exactly facing the way they are. So you won't get that fade out effect, but instead you'll get the uh, objects staying nice and still in the world. I personally prefer this method of doing it, but that doesn't mean it's any better. It just means the style that I prefer for something like this. But there you go. That's how you can do very simple billboarding in your games. 
that allows your objects to rotate and face the camera in the world and you never end up with this weird sideways look at the sprites that you have in your scenes. Thanks for watching this episode. I'll be back soon with more tutorial goodness. In the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow at Games Plus James on Twitter for updates. You can join us on Discord for the community Discord if you want to learn some more about what other people are making and share what you're making in your own games as well. And the most important thing is make sure that you're having lots of fun making games. So thanks for watching. I'll be back soon and I'll see you all very soon.